because it's bigger than the Great Lakes. It's worldwide. All right, I want everyone to focus on what we're about to cover right now. In fact, we're going to search this and put it on screen for you. Radioactive isotopes covered up in Texas water. Remember two weeks ago it came out in the Houston Chronicle, CBS News, that they were finding uranium in most Texas water supplies that isn't even in the groundwater, and that the feds had been covering it up with the state. Felicia Byford. This is really disturbing. And neighbor Kareen Tolbert. This is horrific, really. Have just learned they have a serious problem. And I mean, you're talking about mutation and radiation. CBS Houston, I team uh, says state lowballs radiation score in drinking water. And then we've got the other headlines state and feds cover up uranium, uh, radium, and other things in the water. Male birth rates are dropping. A big brother wants you to be calm, docile. Government experts are advocating lithium in the water, municipal water districts. See, this is happening. That's right. Radiation in the water their kids are playing in and that they've been drinking. All supplied by their water provider, Municipal Utility District Number 105. Radiation in amounts over recommended health standards and in recent times even over federal legal limits. Do you feel like you've been adequately informed? No, no. But for the scientists at this state lab, it's no surprise at all. Because after testing the water from communities in Harris County and across the state, they know that radioactive water isn't just in Corrine and Felicia's neighborhood, but in other Harris County community water systems and throughout Texas. And one type of radiation that keeps turning up, it's called the alpha particle. The alpha particle, this is the 800-pound gorilla of radioactive particles. He's Dr. David Ozanoff, a nationally known expert on drinking water and health, based out of Boston University's School of Public Health. You know, it can't penetrate very far, but when it hits something, it does a ferocious amount of damage. And he says drinking water with alpha is a real risk. If I were to drink it, then uh, many parts of your body are within knife wielding distance of an alpha particle. And Ozanoff says that can damage your DNA. And drink enough of them over a period of years and your risk goes up for the disease that we call cancer. In fact, even the EPA says a single alpha passing through a cell is sufficient to induce a mutational event. Which is why Ozanoff and other scientists recommend zero alpha in your water. Because all you need is one cell to go bad. Which brings us back to MUD 105. You see, for years, the state's own tests show its drinking water had significant amounts of radioactive alpha particles, with enough in 2008 and 2009 to violate the EPA's federal legal limit, something the MUD mentioned in these two annual water quality reports as a problem with alpha emitters. Uh, Michael Braverman, great to have you here with us. Well, let's go to that a second. Again, you can Google this. Anybody can Google this. Male birth rates all around the world are dropping precipitously in some cases. And this goes across all species. This is not just human beings. Male birth rates, male fertility is dropping. This is a fact. This is a drop-dead fact. Now, why is that happening? Well, one of the reasons it's happening is uranium, even in trace amounts in the water, has a terrible effect on male fertility, terrible effect on testosterone. But what it does is it increases estrogen. So you have, all of a sudden, you have fish showing up all over the world, and especially in here in the United States, too, you have fish showing up uh, with both organs, with both male and female sex organs. You have otters. Don't ask me why it's otters, because I guess because they live in the water. I can tell you why. Stay there. They're, they're hermaphrodites now, because the alluvial... They're dumping all the water we've used into rivers. It's got the estrogen, the chemicals in it. The otters then eat shellfish where it precipitates. It bioaccumulates in the otters. Stay there. This is key intel. The radiation attack straight ahead. We asked Professor Ozanoff. Do you think most people have any idea what alpha activity really means? I'm confident they don't. I don't think there's reason for panic. Taylor Goodall is MUD 105's lawyer. Do you think the average Joe knows that there's radiation in your water? Well, I can't necessarily speak for the average Joe, but I know that we've sent out mailers. Mailers like this one that disclose the radiation problem, but also told residents that it's not an emergency and you don't have to switch water supplies. Why not? 
Goodall says Mud 105 reduced pumping water from its most radioactive well, but admits it has not been taken offline completely and won't be until the mud can switch entirely to surface water, which might take years. Scientists would say exposure to this amount of radiation over a number of years leads to an increased risk of cancer in your community. Does that concern you? <laughs> Any, is, any issues of public health do concern me, but what I'm saying is... But you're saying there's no reason no, to panic. I, there isn't a reason to panic. I'm no firm reason? in my belief that there's not a reason to panic. To which one of our mothers had an interesting response. Well, you come live here, you come drink this water, and then you tell me how you feel in two years. Male birth rates are dropping all over the world. Radiation exposure expert Lauren Murray states that uranium in our water is leading to mass feminization of the population, not to mention kidney and uh, other failure, uh, pancreas is going out. I, I was watching the news this week and they estimate half the public by 2020 will have diabetes. Get into what the uranium is doing in the water and how they're getting it into the water to combine with the lithium and the fluoride. Some of uranium is naturally occurring. Some of it is clearly uh, uh, pumped in. Um, it, there's lots of ways where, where they, they do it. There are actually, in the city of L.A., when they lay new pipes, new water pipes for the DWP, Department of Water and Power, some of these pipes have, have little chemical dispensers built right on the pipe, remotely activated. Uh, there, there could be nothing in them now. It would take almost nothing for a bunch of crews to go out and, and put trace amounts of uranium in those chemical dispensers. Well, our research shows, and it's confirmed, this is on hidden in plain view, that the phosphate mining out of limestone is where they get the sodium fluoride byproduct, and, and the EPA admits they're allowed to have certain amounts of other chemicals. Uh, and where do you mine the uranium in the same limestone deposit, and that there is uranium in it? So when they add the so-called fluoride, it's got the uranium. Well, here's something even scarier. A lot of depleted uranium weapons, as, as your listeners know, were used in both uh, Middle East wars, in both Iraq wars. Yes. That depleted uranium gets picked up by the wind, gets picked up, you know, you know, uh, it goes into the clouds, goes into the air currents, and gets dropped everywhere. So the fact is, is this stuff is basically falling on us if you follow the air currents all around the world. And again, what this uranium does, even trace tiny amounts, what it does, and our show has this has this woman, Lorraine Murray, who was a radiation, who is a radiation researcher for public health and was kicked out of the Lawrence Livermore lab because she blew the whistle. And what this stuff does is that this is, this is feminizing our population. Male fertility, male birth rates, male characteristics are down all throughout the world. Terrifying. But Mud 105 isn't alone. All over Harris County, state water tests show alpha particles in Municipal Utility District 238, Mud 23, the city of Katy, and hundreds of others, like the suburban mobile home park, with enough alpha particle radiation in its well water to violate the law three years in a row. And yet the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, or TCEQ, has allowed that water well to remain in use for years. TCEQ is always first for protecting human health. In part two of our series, we reveal how state officials may have been part of what one expert calls a possible cover-up of radiation readings in water all across Texas.